Sahitam Sarvudam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Sahitam Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padam Sahana Lalita Sri Vishakamitam Sya Hey Krishna Karana Sindhu Vinaranda Jagatpate
class. We are continuing from now to number one. Chapter 15, the Pandava is retired finally, and today we have text number five. Five. Yes. Arjuna Uvaracha Arjuna Uvaracha Vanchito Vanchito Aham Aham Maharaja Maharaja Harina Harina Bandhu Bandhu Rupina Rupina Yena Yena Me Me Paritam Paritam Tejo Tejo Deva Deva Vishmapanam Vishmapanam Mahat Mahat Arjuna Vacha Arjuna Vacha Vanchito Ham Maharaja Vanchito Ham Maharaja Harina Bandhu Rupina Harina Bandhu Rupina Nena Me Paritam Tejo Nena Me Paritam Tejo Deva Vishma Deva Vishma Panam Mahat Deva Vishma Panam Mahat Arjuna Uvacha Arjuna Uvacha Panchito Ham Maharaja Panchito Ham Maharaja Harina Bandhu Rupina Harina Bandhu Rupina Yena Me Paritam Tejo Yena Me Paritam Tejo Deva Vishma Panam Mahat Deva Vishma Parama Arjuna Uvacha Arjuna Uvacha Vanchito Ham Maharaja Vanchito Ham Maharaja Arina Bandhu Rupina Arina Bandhu Rupina Yena Me Paritam Tejo Yena Me Paritam Tejo Deva Vishma Parama Mahat Deva Vishma Parama Mahat Arjuna Vacha, Arjuna Vacha, Vanchito Ham Maharaja, Vanchito Ham Maharaja, Harina Bandhu Rupina, Harina Bandhu Rupina, Yena Me Paritam Tejo, Yena Me Paritam Tejo, Deva Vishma Panamaha, Deva Vishma Panamaha. Arjuvacha, Arjuvacha, Vanchito Maharaja, Vanchito Maharaja, Arina Bandhu Rupina, Arina Bandhu Rupina, Yena Me Haritam Tejo, Yena Me Haritam Tejo, Deva Vishma Panamaha, Deva Vishma Panamaha. Arjuna Vacha, Arjuna Vacha, Vanchito Ham Maharaja, Vanchito Ham Maharaja, Arina Bandhu Rupina, Arina Bandhu Rupina, Yena Me Apritam Tejo, Yena Me Apritam Tejo, Deva Vishma Panam Mahat, Deva Vishma Panam Mahat. Arjuna Vacha, Vanchito Ham Maharaja, Harina Bandhu Rupina, Yena Me Parikam Tejo, Deva Vishma Panam Mahat, Arjuna Vacha, Arjuna said, Vanchita, left by him, Aham, Maharaja, Maharaja, O King, O King, Harina, Harina, by the personality of Godhead, by the personality of Godhead, Bandhu Rupina, Bandhu Rupina. As if an intimate friend, Ena, Ena, by whom, by whom, may, may, my, my, Abhidham, 
Abide now. I have been bereft. I have been bereft. Dejaha. Dejaha. Power. Power. Deva. Deva. Demigod. Demigod. Vishma Panam. Vishma Panam. Astonishing. Astonishing. Mahat. Mahat. Astounding. Astounding. Translation and report by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Sita Bhagavad Gita. Arjuna said, O King, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Hari, who treated me exactly like an intimate friend, has left me alone. Thus, my astounding power, which astonished even the demigods, is no longer with me. Kind of repeat after me. Arjuna said, Arjuna said, O King, O King, the Supreme Personality of Godhead Hari, the Supreme Personality of Godhead Hari, who treated me, who treated me, exactly like an intimate friend, exactly like an intimate friend, has left me alone, has left me alone. Thus my astounding power, thus my astounding power, which astonished even the demigods, which astonished even the demigods, is no longer with me. Is no longer with me. Report. In the Bhagavad Gita 10 41, the Lord says, anyone specifically powerful and opulent in wealth, strength, beauty, knowledge, and all that is materially desirable is to be considered but a product of an insignificant portion of the complete, of the complete whole of my energy. No one, therefore, can be independently powerful in any measure without being endowed by the Lord. When the Lord descends on the earth along with his eternal, ever-liberated associates, he not only displays the divine energy possessed by himself, but also empowers his associate devotees with the required energy to execute his mission of incarnation. It is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita 4.5 that the Lord and his eternal associates descend on the earth many times, but the Lord remembers all the different roles of incarnations, whereas the associates, by His supreme will, <coughs> forget them. Similarly, the Lord takes away with Him all His associates when he disappears from the earth. The power and energy which were bestowed upon Arjuna were required for fulfillment of the mission of the Lord. But when his mission was fulfilled, the emergency powers were withdrawn from Arjuna because the astounding powers of Arjuna, which were astonishing even to the denizens of heaven, were no longer required, and they were not meant for going back home, back to Godhead. <clears throat> If endowment of powers and withdrawal of powers by the Lord are possible even for a great devotee like Arjuna or even the demigods 
and heaven. Then what to speak of the ordinary living beings who are but figs compared to such great souls. <clears throat> the lesson is, therefore, that no one should be puffed up for his powers borrowed from the Lord. The same, the same, the same man should rather feel obliged to the Lord for such benefactions and must utilize such power for the service of the Lord. Such power can be withdrawn at any time by the Lord. So the best use of such power and occupants is to engage them in the service of the Lord. Mm. Translation again, I'm trying to say, O King, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Hari, who treated me exactly like an intimate friend has left me alone. Thus, my astounding power, which astonished even the demigods, is no longer with me. <clears throat> there is one verse that comes to mind. However, without being empowered by the Lord, it is not possible to perform or to spread Haridam Sankirtan. Yeah. <clears throat> when Shri Prabhupada was in performing his last Lila, Vrindavan. <clears throat> Immediately after winding up <clears throat> his past son, when so many devotees were present, many of his own disciples and also some members of the Lord, he lost some of his God brothers. <clears throat> One of them mentioned knowing what Srila Prabhupada had accomplished in that rather short period of time by having gone to the Western countries <clears throat> and knowing. Scripture, he mentioned about Srila Prabhupada being a Shakta Vishavatar. Shakta Vishavatar, one of the six kinds of avatar described in the Shastra, <clears throat> are those personalities especially empowered to do something that ordinarily is not possible. <clears throat> so this is a, and of course, all of us who have 
witnessed and been part, and are still part actually of this uh, miracle that is taking place. That's how <coughs> the early Shamashinda would refer to Prabhupada's activities as miraculous or actually use the word magic. <laughs> that was Prabhupada. Prabhupada was a kind of magician doing things that no one else could do. Inconceivable. <clears throat> so especially those of us who are having that great fortune of having, as we say, having been there somehow by some great fortune. We were there <clears throat> at some point, some were there practically from the beginning. In the late 60s, when Shiva Prabhupada came, others came in the early 70s. <clears throat> um, but now, you know, 50 years on the line, we find ourselves <clears throat> at the very age that Shiva Prabhupada was when he started his movement. Mm. We're thinking of winding up when Prabhupada started. <laughs> And we can appreciate even more, actually, how such a tremendous a sacrifice and inconceivable <coughs> undertaking that Shri Prabhupada uh, took upon himself at that advanced age. <coughs> So this is very important as mentioned in the last portion of the report here, that the Lord actually when He comes, by, by nature, He performs <coughs> superhuman activities because He's not an ordinary human. Uh, <coughs> <clears throat> Ordinary people do not know that when I appear in this material world, I don't appear as an ordinary human being, although seemingly externally it appears in that way. Um, and then Krishna explains, of course, how his um, very appearance his activities, they are all transcendental. Zanma karma sami dityam evam jodhiti tato taha jaktva deham puna zanma laiti maam viti sarjuna Those who are fortunate uh, to accept this reality of the Lord's appearance in it and his activities as being uh, superhuman, transcendental. <coughs> They also uh, become empowered by the Lord <clears throat> to help him actually in his mission. Of course, there are many people who are empowered in different ways and not at all part of his mission. They're called heathens. <clears throat> but we should never forget that whatever ability we may have, Prabhupada makes reference also in the report. <coughs> this is mentioned in the Bible, I am the ability of man. Um, very important for us to forget whatever even small thing we can perform, especially if we are given an opportunity to perform something somewhat extraordinary. We should always be very, very careful not to become puffed up, but to understand and to always keep in mind. <coughs> Just recently somebody said, sent a small, I don't know, or maybe one realization that actual devotee He is remembering the mercy of the Lord, or he 
is connecting the mercy of the Lord with his every breath. Because it's true. We cannot breathe unless Krishna sanctions our breathing. <clears throat> we cannot do anything unless we are allowed <clears throat> we tend so easily to forget our dependence on the Lord. We're totally dependent. <clears throat> we, uh, we realize that in a more natural way as we get older. <laughs> this is why <laughs> the dwindling stage of life didn't mean so much, you know, the word dwindling at the age of 20. <laughs> but when you reach the age of, <clears throat> well, it varies in Kali Yuga, but uh, <clears throat> it's getting earlier and earlier. But when we reach the age of 60 and 70, as many of the proper disciples uh, are experiencing, uh, this body is so fragile. So, a devotee is someone who is always remembering his position as very, um, very small, very teeny, as Prabhupada would say, very teeny, um, very tiny, insignificant. And therefore, we always remain indebted to the Lord. And if we accomplish anything, whatever we may accomplish, we know where it's coming from. <laughs> it's not coming from us. It is made possible simply by the grace and mercy of the Lord. So therefore, the Lord learns to be, <clears throat> by nature, humble. Because that is our constitutional position. <clears throat> to be servants, and, and the foremost quality of a good servant is, is, is to realize, understand his position <clears throat> of wanting to serve, wanting to serve the master, the uh, Purusha. The master, the original master, Adi Purusham, Govinda. <clears throat> we were reading yesterday by the mercy of the Egypt, the uh, Buddha uh, sections of the Ramayana. Uh, we get a little glimpse <clears throat> when we read Ramayana and Mahabharata, such great personalities. Uh, performing uh, extraordinary, I mean, having all kinds of uh, qualities which are very difficult to find in Kali Yuga. <clears throat> but these are all possible, all made possible actually by the mercy of the Lord. Uh, it means when we actually um, accept the Lord. <clears throat> accept our position as being um, created by the Lord, <clears throat> accept our position as being humble servants of the Lord. When a, a whole society is arranged in this way, <clears throat> then societies, uh, civilizations can become very great and perform all kinds of uh, wonderful uh, activities. <clears throat> we are at the beginning of the um, movement of Lord Chaitanya 500 years ago, which is meant to usher in a new age. We start getting a glimpse in some of our children born in the holy families. 
this, you know, Prabhupada said it would take a few generations before. I don't think he directly said before our kids can light fire by mantra. But, uh, but such things are actually within the power of those who follow. Uh, in other words, the Lord becomes more and more inclined to bestow his mercy and, and to empower. And actually, in many ways, we should be praying to become empowered. Because the forces of Kali Yuga are <clears throat> overwhelming in so many different ways. The agents of Maya, <clears throat> very, very strong. And to counteract those powerful forces of Maya, we, we need to become also very strong. We, we can pray and should pray for the Lord to give us various abilities to empower us to properly confront the various Practically speaking, uh, practically speaking, all encompassing um, impediments and uh, negative influences that are there. <clears throat> so this is uh, nicely describing how Arjuna, we know from uh, his activities, especially during the uh, Battle of Kurukshetra. Uh, I mean, all of the power, all of the Pandavas were power. Um, they were not ordinary humans. They were, of course, born from the demigods. <clears throat> but they were also empowered directly by, by Krishna. <clears throat> so here Arjuna is uh, feeling, uh, <clears throat> realizing, actually experiencing as well that uh, with the Lord having finish his pastime, then uh, all the powers that he had kind of like disappeared as well. <clears throat> so it means that uh, this movement of Lord Chaitanya, the more we uh, <clears throat> follow the uh, good instructions given by Shiva Prabhupada and the previous Acharyas um, <clears throat> uh, to counteract the forces of Kali Yuga requires, it requires a special um, <clears throat> uh, what is it? Inter uh, the Lord has to intervene. Uh, special empowerment is, is, is Needed, will be needed to uh, <coughs> concession. Huh? Special concession. Special concession, yes. <laughs> uh, to reverse reverse I mean, uh, to reverse the present uh, trend of uh, Kali Yuga. And we see different changes taking place and, and we should be confident that even though the, the forces of Maya are showing on, continue, isn't it, to display uh, an inconceivable kind of, you could say, degradation. <clears throat> Still, all of that, we just have to, you know, remember the good instructions that Krishna has given Arjuna 5,000 years ago, that uh, those who take shelter of the external energy of the world, they will be defeated ultimately. They are defeated actually every step. Mogasha, Mogakama, Mogagyana, Vijetasa, Rakshasim, Vasudim, Achaiva, Mohinim, Prakritim, Sritaha. Those who take shelter of the Mohini, Prakriti, external energy of the world, <coughs> all of their attempts will actually be so we have all of us been um, <clears throat> given so much mercy 
by coming in contact with this knowledge, by being able to follow uh, in the footsteps of Arjuna, by actually taking up our different duties and responsibilities, <clears throat> having a firm faith in the good instructions given by the Lord. And in this way, uh, always depend on the Lord. Sometimes he may, he can do anything actually. <laughs> He may at times give us the ability and at other times we may, may find ourselves totally unable to do even the simplest things. Mm -hmm. Krishna does that to make us humble at times mm -hmm. we have a tendency, that's our problem, all of us in the material world, to become uh, falsely <coughs> puffed up. Uh, so we have nothing to be puffed up about. <coughs> and uh, in this way, uh, we can <coughs> better assist uh, Sri Prabhupada in his mission of spreading Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. A nice report <coughs> by Sri Prabhupada, <coughs> excuse me, that's why this is here.
Like in the Bible, it also probably explains how old age should serve as an impetus <laughs> to become more. What, how, did it, how does it go again? An impetus for becoming more enlightened that, that day is soon arriving. Mm. Where some sharing is going to be waiting. You know, the Vishnu Dutas, or forget about the Vishnu Dutas, I mean, forget about the Yama Dutas, the Vishnu Dutas and the Yama Dutas, they are roaming around. Uh, the Yama Dutas are very busy in Kali Yuga. But there's a whole arrangement. Krishna, isn't it? Krishna promises anyone who does even a little amount of devotional service, <clears throat> anyone who even just begins, I, be, I become obliged. I will personally look after that individual. So anyone who has begun the process of bhakti, even one, one may not be continuing, but Krishna actually makes that promise that he will personally look after that individual. So that should be a great comfort for us, actually. That Krishna, we, we cannot imagine, because we've been here in the material world for so long, but we cannot imagine the kind of <clears throat> obligation that Krishna feels or the kind of love that he has actually for all, just like parents have natural love for their children. We are God's children. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we just have to learn some money. Engaging the world's of service means becoming more absorbed. That is actually somatic. Yeah. Maharaj once showed Prabhupada's first uh, encounter with his new disciples. Uh, he required that we chant, he said, this is uh, Lord Chaitanya's movement, it's uh, Harinam Sankirtan. We should chant 64 rounds. And uh, the devotees balked at that. They said, we, we won't have time to do anything else. And he said, OK, so chant 32 rounds. And uh, they said, we still won't have much time to do anything else. And so very uh, emphatically, he said, chant 16 good rounds and do something practical to spread this movement. So this point you were making about doing something practical to spread this movement, doing some service to help enhance Shri Prabhupada's previous efforts, uh, it's uh, very important that we understand that we have to do something that's actually going to do that. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> however, as we get older, our desire to do something practical is there, but this body is not. <laughs> <laughs> The body may not cooperate, so then maybe you have to reverse and go from 16 to 32 rounds. <laughs> go up to 64. According to our situation, we should just, uh, of course, chant the minimum that Shri Prabhupada has given us. And if we can chant more, all the better. Uh, and depending on our physical condition, um, and it varies a hell of a lot. <laughs> from one individual to another. Um, <clears throat> whatever service we can do as long as this body allows, as long as this body is healthy, we should do. Obviously, I think this is the point of making practical devotional service. And otherwise, you know, any one of the nine processes of devotional service, the time will come where we can just maybe only hear. And some of us maybe cannot hear it also. But our, our link 
in our connection, that we should always have very firmly in mind. Our link in our connection is the holy name. That is the only thing we can take back. That is our... <clears throat> you know, when Lord Brahma is born, there is that uh, kind of uh, uh, umbilical cord, mm -hmm. kind of. Mm -hmm. So this is our link, actually, this, 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 this Mahamantra, this chanting of the Holy Name. Because it is transcendental. We, we, this body is, is just a lump of whatever. It's, it's <clears throat> what we, the only thing that we can take back, that we can cringe on, that we can hold on firmly, tightly, is the Holy Name. <clears throat> and uh, so, therefore, our endeavor very much should be to, to develop some attachment for hearing and chanting. And in old age, we get, due to this body breaking up, we, we, um, we, are, we find ourselves very often just <coughs> Christians bringing and forcing us to come to the platform. Any other? Yes. I have a question and a, a small announcement. The good news is Nijal Ikadashi is coming up very soon, 23rd June, and we are going to have 64 rounds day that day. So yeah. everyone is welcome. There's nothing to do. You can't eat, you can't drink. So everyone, please come to chant. <laughs> what date is that? 23rd June. 23rd June, okay. Yeah, just to have a That's one. The second is, uh, Maharaj, you said that those who take shelter of the external energy will be defeated. Mm. And then you uh, quoted a Sanskrit verse. Could you tell me where, what verse was that which you quoted immediately after saying that? Well, I quoted the verse that explains and that Krishna speaks in the Bhagavad Gita. Moga sham, moga karma no. Moga jnana vichita sarha, shasim asayim saiva, mominim praktikim sita. I don't know what Sanskrit I said. I might have said after that. But mohi uh, <coughs> prakriti is that external energy that the vast majority of well, that all conditioned souls that take shelter. There's only these two. The daily prakriti or the mohi prakriti. So the boys, we uh, are <coughs> meant to take shelter of the daily prakriti divine. Main bhakti, the process of bhakti to those who I don't know if that's, if that Sanskrit word is in there somewhere. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Maharaj, I was uh, intrigued when you were speaking about uh, Sri Prophet's nature as Shaktivish avatar. And so uh, some of us conditioned souls who have been picked up by Sri Prophet actually have sort of a maybe sentiment. So that's basically the point I'm trying to elucidate is how sentimental is and how based in philosophy it is that you know our eternal relationship will continue with Srila Prabhupada after this body you know so that that's sort of the thing I mean is that a bona fide understanding that our relationship can continue with Srila Prabhupada even after this birth and in the next Leela and ne I mean the Shaktavish significance I guess is my point uh, you know the, I'm not trying to circumvent Krishna, but in one sense, it seems that Sri Prabhupada to us, in a sense, becomes a manifestation of Krishna. So. Yeah, his kind will be there, the spiritual world. Just like in Vrindavan, um, there are so many devotees, uh, so many different types of gopis, for example, who are uh, fully happy and satisfied in serving some elder gopi or more senior gopi. So like in the spiritual world, we're, we, we are serving, <coughs> uh, 
the different devotees according to how fate has arranged us to come in contact. So those of us who have come in contact, ultimately everyone within this kind is, is, is having a special kind of relationship with Shiva Prabhupada being the founder Charya of this kind. So that kind of relationship will continue because the um, <coughs> relationship between uh, the a spiritual master and disciple is an eternal relationship. Yeah. 